Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 17th of February. What can you say here? The big thaw rolls along. We stay very mild, if not warm, through early next week. Potential for getting close to record highs around here. Uh, let's go look at some of the Skycam shots. Thought I'd go back and show you the sunset yesterday. Thought that was gorgeous. That was coming from Inverness. That was captured at 516. Not a cloud in the sky. And at that same time, check out that Gulf Shore Skycam. Isn't that nice? And notice how the sun is beginning to shift over to the right. That means we're getting deeper in the season now. And before you know it, the sun will be going down over the little lagoon way off to the uh, right as we get into spring. But again, that's just gorgeous. That's the view coming from the Phoenix All Suites overlooking the uh, public beach and the hangout. And this morning at the ridiculous hour of 5 a.m., that's the uh, Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. That's the uh, steeple there at First Baptist Church. A well, uh, familiar look there, the uh, water vapor satellite shot. The stronger winds are configured well to the north and west. Uh, surface lows develop uh, on the lee of the Rockies and shoot northeast up toward Canada. We catch these trailing fronts that die out, and bottom line is uh, the weather's going to stay nice and quiet for a while. And again this morning, numbers just all over the board. I mean, you're probably tired of hearing us say this, but this is why this is not a good one-number place when you forecast a morning low. You got the numbers uh, varying there from 34 at Gadsden to 50 at Muscle Shoals. Uh, but Birmingham sitting at 42. Around the uh, nation yesterday, these are highs. And look at those 80s surging up into Oklahoma and Kansas. Uh, 70s up to uh, St. Louis. And uh, even up north, you know, they had highs up in the 40s. Just like a heat wave to those folks up there. So the big thaw is on over much of the nation. But again, way up north, we continue to watch this air that's beginning to slide out of Alaska down into the uh, northwest territories of Canada, where the, it looks like the uh, coldest reading up there this morning is 49 below zero. I'm just saying there's still some cold air up there, and we'll have to keep an eye on that. But right now, the upper winds will not allow it to bother us. Here's the uh, watch warning map this morning. The uh, counties in Arkansas, that's a, a wind advisory. And most of the issues are way out west. Still got a blizzard warning for parts of southwest Colorado and uh, some winter storm watches and warnings out in the uh, California mountains, the Sierra Nevadas. Rain for the next five days, not much. In fact, nothing for uh, most of Alabama, just a smidgen for the Tennessee Valley. And, of course, the uh, heavier stuff is out west. Check the GFS. This is at noon today at 500 millibars. Still ridging, poking in from the Gulf. Should be a... Mostly sunny day today. Highs up in the low to mid-70s. Wow. Average high for today is 59. We'll beat that easily. Tomorrow you can see a uh, surface low way up over Hudson Bay. Very deep, but uh, that trailing front's just dying. And again, you might see a blip on radar tomorrow evening, but I think most of us will stay high and dry. Saturday starting off the weekend, 588 Ridge over the Gulf, affecting much of the Gulf Coast states, big trough out west. And down below that should be a beautiful day Saturday. A good deal of sunshine with highs again up in the low to mid-70s, flirting with records. And the same thing on Sunday. The GFS is printing a 73, and it's been running too cool lately, so we're using 75. Monday of next week, a familiar story, a little energy Comes out of that western trough, passes well to the north, and uh, down below that, a surface low forms near St. Louis, and again, there's going to be a trailing front, and there might be a shower somewhere, but don't count on it. And then uh, Tuesday of next week, that's on by, and you can see somewhat cooler air tries to nose in here. Uh, this run has us dropping into the 60s on Tuesday, and if that trend keeps up, we'll probably lean in that direction, but... Again, certainly no major cooling. And there's Wednesday. Looks great. Sunny with a high in the 60s. A week from today, same story. A weak low comes out of the uh, uh, Rockies out there. Maybe some moisture. And then at the end of next week on uh, Friday the 25th, uh, a dying front. And uh, the model is probably overdoing the rain with this. And again, with every front, though, we notice that you're getting a little colder back there behind it. So we'll keep an eye on that. But uh, again, maybe with one of these fronts, maybe that one 
we'll pick up some decent showers. We could use some rain. Rain deficiencies are increasing, and we've had some wildfire problems. Now, into the forecast March 4th, still no evidence of any pattern to give us any cold air. No big western ridge, no eastern trough. That's a broad southwest flow aloft, and again, maybe some evidence of showers here, but uh, nothing too serious. And uh, Checking the North Atlantic Oscillation, that bottom chart down there, uh, it kind of trends neutral, but it really stays a little positive. And again, no big downward spike to, to suggest a flood of cold air down in here. But again, I caution you, I do think we'll have several more mornings below freezing before we get out of this uh, winter season. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.